Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Lord. I'm Gaina. Here we are, just two of us. Yes. Um, weekend mm. is here. Uh, we're prepping for the uh, prepping for the uh, college football today. We are. Um, bit of UK versus US food wars with Charles Tillman from Chicago, ex Chicago Bears, cornerback. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's in London, I guess, playing the Jacksonville Jaguars yes. this weekend. Uh, we're not going. It's not not a game that really interests me because we're going to the real uh, yeah. stadiums in the, the USA. Real deal. <laughs> the real deal. Yeah, the real stadium. Oh, Although Tottenham Stadium is really nice. Yeah, it's, pre it's probably the best I've stadium. I've actually been yet. It's probably the nicest. I've been about six times, mm. and we've won once. Really? Yeah, it's a proper bogey stadium for mm. us. Um, anyway, should we get into this? It's a uh, yeah. UK versus US food wars with Charles Tillman um, at the Tottenham Stadium. I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm Peanut Tillman, NFL legend, and I am at Tottenham Stadium trying some UK football food and then some American football food. Let's see what happens. Oh, damn, he in a suit and everything. <laughs> okay, we have our signature Tottenham beef and onion pie. Beef and onion pie. <laughs> How grim but does that look? It does look great. Well, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, if you know what well, I mean. Well, it's just the way it's just plunked in the middle of a cardboard box with right. nothing around it. Like This is the, this is one of the suites, I'm guessing, at the... Um, at the Tottenham Stadium. Yeah. Not been, I've not been in one of the suites at the stadium. Yeah. I've been in loads of suites at City. Mm. Right? I've been in suites in different stadiums yeah. as well. But the pie, for pe people who don't know, the pie is a staple food yeah, it's a at football games over here. When I say football, soccer games over here. Yeah. It's every stadium sells pies. Yeah. That's that's it. That's what you get. Mm. Half time is a pie. Yeah. Pie and a pint, yeah. as you say, sort mm. of thing. And that's, I reckon you've got enough time to drink a pint and eat a pie. Before you Before go you back, back to your out. seat, yeah, yeah. And back out. Was um, it fifteen minutes? But they try and they try and up it a little bit in these sweets, I'm guessing. So they try and make it a bit fancy, and sometimes it just doesn't it's a bit work. Too, yeah, it's a bit too much. Mm. Yeah. There's uh, Chicago smoked turkey mac and cheese. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for the food, Robert Steve, and nourish my body. Bless the hands that made it, because it's gonna be good and yummy in my tummy. Amen. All right. So this is. He didn't say liver and onions. He said something in onions. Steak and onions. I hope this ain't liver. I don't do liver. I like that right now. That's good. Yeah. So I'm tasting good. the onions. Is that beef? Ground mm -hmm. beef. Seek, seek the recipe. Okay. Don't need to know. G14 <laughs> classifier. Am I just supposed to eat one piece? Because I feel like I want to eat the whole damn thing. Pick it up. Yeah. In my last bite. That's good. All right. And this is mac and cheese. This is what? That turkey? Smoked turkey. We got some smoked turkey. Tomato chocolate in there. Tomato. Okay. All right, let's we'll see. And to be fair, we've had stadium food as well in the NFL. Um, and we had pizza, didn't we? And it was a bit grim. Yeah, it was. Um, but that's what I want at a stadium. If you start, I mean, stadiums at City, they, have, they do fine dining. And it just doesn't work for me. No, I'm not, I'm not yeah. interested. I'm there for the game. I'm not there for the food. You can't go wrong, though, with, with a hot dog or a pie or... We've had this in where, where, where we sit. We sit in an area where there's a bar. Um, and it's like a pub, and they do, they do food as well. It's similar to that. It's not, not too dissimilar to that yeah. with the serving there, um, but only you get it on a plate, proper yeah. silver service where they come up and yeah. they don't do that. But um, but what you've got is I, I'm there for the game. Yeah. I want. We've said it many times. Just give us a burger. Mm. Give us the, even the burgers they do are all like fancy. It's not a burger. Yeah. I just want a burger. Yeah. I'm a, UK, <laughs> you guys win first round. That was that was a no brainer. This is good. I'm gonna eat this on Sunday. Pies Round one clearly went to the to the UK. Round two. All right, what we got here, boss? So that is the smash mushroom simplicity burger. You say it's so cool. Mushroom <laughs> simplicity burger. Like you just make it sound elegant. <laughs> and this one is the uh, mighty double cheeseburger. Mighty double cheeseburger. So we got mushrooms, a big old thing of lettuce. Some coleslaw. That looks grim. Some more. All right, let's try this. And this looks is like nice a, a maroon looking bun. Probably beetroot. Not gonna lie, I ain't never had a mushroom burger. I had mushrooms on burgers, but never just like a whole mushroom burger. How you get a mushroom that flat? That's a secret. Damn, boss, is everything a secret y'all doing here? Okay. It's good though. I like it. And it doesn't taste like vegetarian. It's just like, man. I ordered the chili at City, and uh, I ate it, and I was like, that was delicious, and the girl went, I didn't know you were vegetarian. I went, vegetarian? She went, it's vegetarian chili. I went, what? Yeah. And it was delicious, but I didn't know. But even the uh, the cheese and onion pie, you were eating it for ages, but and I said, it's vegan cheese pie, and you went, no, it's not. And I went, it is, it's vegan cheese. And you still ate it. It was nice. Yeah, but once yeah. you realised it was vegan, you didn't eat it I've again. had it. I've had it since. <laughs> I still, I still order it at half time. Yeah. I still get the cheese pie because it does taste, taste just like a cheese pie, yeah. cheese and onion pie. Yeah, it's good. Okay. 
Double that burger looks, with that cheese. That looks miles bad. We got some a tomato on there. What that is, Big Mac sauce? That look like a little Big Mac sauce like from uh, from Mickey D's. Something I like <laughs> to do. You can call it old American, you can call it fat, I don't care. I like to smush my burger and get all that juice mm. and everything. Yup, just like that right there. I'm sorry. If you make me choose between a double burger with cheese yeah. I, and some like beef and a mushroom, the mushroom was good. I'm gonna go double burger every single All time. day, all I'm day. I'm assuming the sauce is secret, right? Ghost. Right, okay. <laughs> How y'all make the water? Is that a secret? <laughs> Operation Pop. UK one, US one. So UK wise, we have the pulled beef brisket sub. Pulled beef brisket sub. And then we have the lady topper. Loaded hot dog that looks like pulled pork. Yep, with the uh, caramel mustard is. Caramel onions. All right. I normally would cut it just because I feel like I need to be very proper, but I'm a good old country boy, so I'm gonna just pick this thing up and just eat it just like this, right? What y'all know about barbecue in the UK? Okay. <laughs> That's good. Is that a brioche bun? Yeah. Those oh, look yeah. nice, the bun. Yeah. Mm, I know my bread. <laughs> that is fire, which translates to exquisite. So we got a pretzel bun, some green little, what's it? Chives. Green onions? Those are little, like, micro little green onions. Chives, okay. are Chives. Oh, yeah. I don't like a breakfast sausage hot dog right now. Okay. Let me try one more so I can get a little. I think this would be more of a close battle between these two sandwiches. Yeah. They're both yeah. different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. A little Just bit a of, preference the, of taste. the turkey and everything. Don't mind me, I'm, I'm just using my fingers. Mm. You okay. I feel like the purchase are on, like I'm a trader, but I think this one wins. Oh, wow. UK2, US1. It looks oh, a bit. Oh, we got some Long John Silvers, okay. <laughs> so for UK, fish classic and fish and chips. Okay. With mushy peas, types of sauce. Mushy peas. Mushy peas, yeah. Is it mushy or mushy? Mushy. Mushy. This one is the buffalo loaded popcorn chicken rock fries. Oh. Okay. Do we know what kind of fish this is? Is this haddock? Cod. It is indeed. Haddock. Oh, I haddock. thought that was gonna be a secret. How do you mush the peas? Just like take a hand of them and just like mush them? Whoever thought to just make peas mushy and sell them? <laughs> mushy peas are great. Yeah, they are. Mushy peas are better than garden yeah. peas, I would say. But um, there's only one, <laughs> only one winner here for me, I think, anyway. Yeah, well you love buffalo chicken. Yeah, I do. Only you guys would do that. I don't even think I ate peas since I was like six months old. <laughs> the last time I ate some mushy peas. <laughs> Still tastes the same. Mmm. <laughs> I like that batter. It's so good. <laughs> Buffalo chicken with some black sprinkly things. I don't know what those are. What are those? My jealousy. Never heard of that until just now. Nigelices. Are they in the spices section in this? In the what do you say, Nigelices? Nigelices, yeah. What, well, after Nigella Lawson? I don't think so, I think that's what they're called, Nigelices. Never heard of them. In the grocery store? Okay. Buffalo, mm. buffalo chicken. Waffle fries. Mm. Waffle fries. I'm sold. I did have some at City though. Some, the appetite, buffalo chicken and waffle fries. And I was like, ooh, buffalo chicken. I mean, with blue cheese, buffalo sauce, it can't be shit. Yeah, grim. It was proper grim. When you sent me the menu and said, mm. like, look what they've got, and I went, don't get too excited. Yeah, it was grim. Very American, I think. I don't know. Is it, do y'all eat it like this, or y'all, <clears throat> or do y'all use, uh, like, a, a knife and fork? Yeah. Oh, because I'm just using my hand like, all right. That's... Wait, time out. Do y'all eat pizza with a fork and knife? Oh, okay, yeah. You See, can this eat it whether like you want to eat it. Go for it. It's like a chicken wing, right? When you eat chicken wings, when you come to the States, you don't use a fork and knife, you just pick that thing up. Knife and fork. Yeah. yeah. She was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is 
So it's like, this is horrid. This is, look how he's eating it with his hands. He's such a savage. <laughs> I think this was better yeah, than yeah. the fish and chips. Day. I'm sorry. Do we get one more round of desserts? Because that's what I want. Yeah. So for Britain, we've got a white chocolate and salsa caramel donut, and then a whoopie pie. Whippy pie. Whoopie. Oh, whoopie, whoopie, okay. I thought Spurs would definitely have served bagels and locks. Yeah. <laughs> you say it even, whoopie yeah, whoopie, whooppie pie. You say it's so cool. Do I need to use a fork for this? Y'all gonna be mad at me if I no, eat my hands? Donut. Just All right. Pick it up. I'm going in it. Tying them donuts. Ooh, feel like I'm throwing up a gang sign, but yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. This looks like a bit of a marshmallow. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie, some swirl, Chewy. like a fudge or some sort. Oh, that'll be good, that. That will be good. Mm. Oh, man, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I pick? Who do I choose? Yeah. Oh, wow. Donut. It's the caramel. He said caramel, I'll say caramel. It's the caramel for me. Oh, the okay. caramel got me. That was like the, the deciding factor in me picking and choosing. UK three. Oh, shit. <laughs> the UK got three, US we got two. But it's all good, you know, we still allies at the end of the day. Y'all winning, I'm eating this donut. I'll see y'all later. This is good. This is awesome. Enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, he was good the way he, uh, the way he went through Analyzed it. Analyzed like it all, yeah. Yeah, you can, I eat, when, when, he, when I'm at City, I can only con sort of like compare it to because it's a stadium food. Mm. I eat everything with fingers. A very rare pick me up, but I mean, obviously, when I have the chili and something, you, sound like you can't you really, but I dip my chips in the chili yeah. and eat it with my fingers. I don't want to mm. like use a knife and fork to dip it. Just... No, there's certain foods you have to eat with a knife and fork. But fish and pizza... chips, when I get the fish and chips, I just I usually cut it up and use a knife and fork. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to pick it up with your hands, go for it. Yeah. If I saw someone eating fish and chips with their hands, I'd probably laugh a little bit. Yeah, but I would go for it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> don't know, just be comfortable, right? Yeah. I mean, that was good, that though. Mm. Yeah. Stadium food, though, is like, it's not supposed to be great. But well, we've got the, the thing, we've got that bit outside the city where they sell and gr that grilled cheese uh, thing, and we've not had one yet. Yeah. And every time I go, they're just setting up because we get there early, and mm. I'm just like, I just I'm thinking if they let me in with one, if they could be able to buy it and take it in all day long, yeah. but they won't. They don't. No, you won't. Like, you won't get through security. You can't even get. I can't even get a tic tac in that bloody place. Yeah. Yeah. See people with flares and all kinds of shit, and I'm yeah. like flagpoles that are like the size of like the building. Yeah. And I go in and they're like, "What's this in your pocket?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's a tic tac that's fell out." They went, you can't take that in. <laughs> Yeah, true. It's crazy, yeah. But uh, yeah, good that I enjoyed it. Yeah. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.